Hey YouTube, welcome back to Mini Reading with Kathy. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. How's everybody doing? Hello. I hope to find everybody well and uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. So today, got another awesome video for you guys. Showing off my homemade 5x8 teardrop camper. Yes, this baby's homemade from a kit, not by me. I purchased it already made, and uh, I was just at the right t place at the right time. Uh, I'm always looking on sites, even if I'm, you know, not really in the market to buy something. I'm always looking for investments and things like that, and I have found quite a few things out there and have... Uh, done the repairs turn around and sold them and um, some things you find like this that you keep for yourself so um, really excited to show it to you all right well let's see the inside so this is the inside start right here my nice pillows. All right, got my nice rafting picture there. My little nightstand. My other door. A uh, little wall lamp I put on there that's a little crooked. I need to turn that. My movie tins, which I love, Rocky, Point Break. And this is my counter, my Ryobi. Picture of my mama. My Raymond, which I have on right now. DVD player. Or an auto fan. That's one extension cord with some things going in it. This is the foot of the bed, which I have my 400 watt pure sine wave inverter. And endless summer. And this is the board that I made. So here you have your AC that's ducted in, the wiring that's going to the battery for the inverter. And this is a standard RV port. And a grate that I made down there for also another way for the AC to vent. My cool movie tins. My fantastic fan. Really cool. All right, I'm gonna open the door and give you a look from the other angle. Hi, Rivy. Good morning, River. Good morning, River. She's sleepy. She's beautiful. My beautiful River. While we're walking over there, not a bad view. Another beautiful New Mexico State Park. All right. Let's open this door. Have a nice screen. Tented. A hey, river. River. You can see my heater is built into the wall there. My carbon dioxide detector on top. And a nice comfy bed. All right, and now let's start at the tongue and take a look at the outside of this baby. Now, this is 100% 
off grid there is no hardwired electricity in this at all nothing anything I'm powering I'm doing it myself or through solar the electrician fizzled out on me and I didn't wait on him I just left so um, there's no electricity hardwired in this teardrop it's a two inch ball that's this is beautiful this is beautiful look at that platform built in generator there gas cans five by eight There's the one vent it was there when I bought it. The second vent I put on myself. And door open, hanging out. River hanging out. Hey Ruby. It is amazing. It is amazing. Let's look at this. So there are boards that go on top of here. They're right here. They're on the ground. I just put them down there to show y'all. So this does have a counter when we're driving. Two outlets. Like I said, nothing is wired in here. My AC being ducked in. So I made a duct. We've got vents here and vents here. We've got a 35 amp hour sealed lead acid battery and an 11 pound Flame King propane canister. Propane, battery, air conditioner. Alright, so we've got the air conditioner plugged into that right here. going into the electric and we've got these two cords going into the electric via my 30 amp splitter down to 215s and then these are guards so it doesn't rain on your connections you can keep your connections dry and safe and that's how I put the electricity in to the camper now at night you're thinking what do you do at night you leave that open sometimes I do yeah if it's nice outside the winds not blowing I leave it open uh, but if not you can close it now if you close it you're not running this AC so the AC is if you close this you can't run the AC and uh, you there's a hole on the floor you can just feed your extension cords through the hole in the floor versus coming out the sides like I have it now because it's a nice day it's going to be open so yeah 100% off grid my gener my generator will run the AC when I don't have plug-ins and that is my amazing camper I hope you guys enjoyed it I enjoyed showing it to you I'm going to show you one of my favorite features about this camper. River, did you want to say hi before we sign off? She's taking a nap in the sun. Look at her sun bathing my baby. All right. This is what I love about this camper. So when I get in, stay with me. I crawl in. Take my hat off. Y'all don't see me without a hat much. I'm gray. <laughs> and I lay in bed like this. And I open my door and I look up at the stars. Or in the daytime, I look out at the lake. my favorite thing to lay in bed and look at the stars it's really really amazing and I've never had a camper that can do that 
So, the number one thing I love, well, I love so many things, but that's way up there to lay in bed and look at the stars way up there and uh and what i find important in life mm, beauty thanks for hanging out with me today and i hope you got some great ideas and uh, when you see a good deal don't pass it up don't hesitate go and get it may the sun light up your days and the stars light up your nights until next time you too we'll see you